Okay, so we're starting in the bathroom because this is where I cut him last time. He's actually not that bad, honestly, but his hair, come here, Milo. Come here, Papa. Good boy, but his hair, it, it is, <laughs> look at him. His hair is getting pretty long already, and just because, you know, it's pretty long, I mean, I know Yorkies are meant to have their hair kind of longer on the longer side, and this is fairly short for a Yorkie, but I like to keep him super low because it's ticks and flea season, and I noticed that as soon as the weather started getting warmer, he was scratching way more often. So I like to keep him low because he does have a black coat. I wanna make sure that I can see everything and make sure that he has no ticks. There was one time we found a tick on him, and a tick or a flea, one of those, and I freaked out. So I immediately shaved him myself. He had a lot of skin irritations because he was scratching a lot. And like I said, although it's kind of short, I'm gonna just do it a little bit shorter just so I can keep track of him and make sure he's not itching. He started to scratch a little bit now, so I just wanna make sure that he's good. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I did last time. It seemed to work, he was super calm, super chill. I got like a kit from Amazon, no, from Walmart. It's just a grooming kit, so this is what it's called, animal grooming kit. This is a new one. The one that I used last time was a battery operated one and it took me forever so I figured I have to get him like a legit one because I don't want to be here forever I feel like if I use this I'm gonna do it much much quicker there's a bunch of different numbers just depending on how low I want to cut him the first time I did it I think I did a one which I thought was a little too short because I could literally see his skin not like his skin like in a scary way but just like it was super low so I don't think I want to do a one maybe like a one and a half I cut his hair about four Four weeks ago it was around when quarantine kind of started mm, kind of like midway through quarantine so like this was perfect for him especially not being able to go to the groomer cutting him that low really worked out for us but I kind of see it by like his chain getting lost within his hair so I can tell that's also time for a haircut not gonna try to keep him that low so I'm just gonna set you guys down and show you guys how I do it but so far he has entertainment he's good he gets lots of treats while I'm grooming him last time I didn't touch his face at all because he has whiskers and I don't want to like hurt him or anything and his little beepy area I did with scissors last time and his butthole like I didn't do this I didn't use the machine so again I'm gonna sit you guys down what are you eating don't eat it I'm gonna sit you guys down and let's just see how this goes a million people in the crowd but I only see your face in all the lights and as the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really want to make you mine. I don't really care about love. I don't really care about happy ever afters. Something about you gives me hope. Something about you. aftermath so it doesn't look like much hair but he's pretty low and look at my arm I cannot wait to shower he's currently hiding from me because he needs a bath now come here look at the boy wow come on what now I gotta convince him to get inside because he's not wanting to be here here papa come here here my low here my low bath time for Milo. I'm gonna take him a bath so that he is nice and hair free. That is very itchy to have here. I usually use the Burt's Bees for puppies, the Fearless Shampoo. And I'm gonna quickly bathe Milo. Hello guys, and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Let me pause this music. There we go. Okay, so today is, okay, so today is 
Tuesday and we're actually gonna be taking a little drive to Connecticut my husband is off from work today so let me sit you guys right here there we go wait are we in a good spot I'm like trying to put you guys in a good spot. But my husband is out of work today and we decided to do like a little road trip. It's not that far from us. Actually, Connecticut is really not that far from us. But we heard that Home Goods, sorry I'm looking over here. It's just I want to make sure that the lighting is like fine because the window's right here, so it's probably gonna offset stuff, but Anyways, I wanted to go to Home Goods, Marshalls, and TJ Maxx. I don't think we're gonna have time to do all of that because we are like 30 to 40 minutes away and it's already later on and they close at seven. So I don't think we're gonna be able to go to all the stores, but I do wanna stop by and just say hello, you know, say hello to TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods. I know they miss me because I obviously miss them. So I'm gonna go over there, see what I find. I'm kind of like renovating upstairs. Let me see if I can show you guys. I actually gotta put my rings on. I'm still wearing my like famous American Eagle jeans that I absolutely loved since last year and the year before that and the year before that. Let me just get my ring because I'm married now so I gotta represent. Okay, got my ring on. So basically I want to remodel this section of the house. This was like Milo's little apartment. I don't know if I ever made a video showing you guys, but that shelf fell down. So we were kind of like redoing it. And then I was like, wait, I kind of want to do something else. I want this to be our little devotional section. So I have this really nice desk from Overstock that I'm ordering. I had a desk in our room, but I ended up just bringing it downstairs to the filming room. But I have this desk in mind. The only thing is that it's pink. I mean, I'm sure my husband won't mind. Like he doesn't really mind, but I think it will look so nice nice it's gonna be girly but <laughs> again he doesn't mind he's probably not even gonna be sitting here anyways but i want to make this whole like devotional uh section here and i want to make it cute i want to make it cozy so i thought about having a desk putting it here because i really 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 want that pink desk it just got in stock i've been stocking it for a long time and it's finally in stock so i really want to order it and put it here because i don't have like i have desks downstairs already so i wanted to make this like a little devotional section and then Milo stuff we're trying to figure out what to do with it temporarily I've moved some of his stuff to the sala but I don't know if I want to keep it there just because I don't know I don't know I literally don't know like this is what it looks like right now kind of just did it roughly it's not gonna really stay like this but this is what it looks like for the most part calling me oh he left his keys probably hi babe hey did you hear Milo Morgan yes facial expressions with this mask but it says Marshall wait where is it oh be careful it's open I saw somebody doing I'm excited Ooh. there it is welcome back I miss you too babe look they got a welcome sign for me is this seriously real life I can't breathe either. Hold on. There we go. We made it. Oh, it's so magical. Look at this. So empty. It does not feel like we're in Marshalls at all. I'm used to everything being over flooded and like full of stuff. And it's not. It's so sad. Look at this, nothing. There's no pots and pans, nothing. Oh my God. Look at this super cute candle. Look at it, and it smells really good, and it says he is risen. I'll make really cute, like, uh, vanity decor. Super cute. Okay. That was a very interesting shopping experience. Definitely not what I expected. Okay, so we just got back from 
Marshalls and that definitely wasn't the experience I was waiting for that definitely wasn't the experience my soul was longing for I have been dying and I think we all have any Marshalls home goods or like TJ Maxx lovers we probably have been dying for the stores to open but unfortunately it, it's not in the condition that we left it in you know like it looked really sad like, definitely really sad I think it's best to just give it a few weeks until like they fully restock and like maybe just like things start to open up more little by little but it was a really sad sight I showed you guys how it looked it was very sad I ended up getting just a few things from there I got some underwear I got a little basket I'll show you guys probably when I get back to the house I'll show you guys what I was able to get but we definitely needed bed sheets really bad and that's what we we got some bed sheets that's luckily what they had they still had a few left now we're probably gonna go get some desserts maybe because I'm not eating after seven o'clock seven or eight o'clock I'm like not eating oh you found some really? stuff that's What's up? I just finished getting ready for a meeting. I have like a Zoom call that I'm gonna be doing right now. Whoa, the camera was like a little bit too close. I have like this Google Meet meeting with a brand in like eight minutes. So I was just quickly getting ready. I have all of my notes on my iPad. Like I tell you guys, I use my iPad for literally everything. So I have my little notes here that we're gonna be talking about. I need my glasses because I've been into glasses. I don't know if I showed you guys this yet, but this is like my little glasses collection that I've really been into and I think I might go for like, I think I might actually go with like a print today because why not? I've been wearing these a lot, these a lot, these a lot, these a lot. So I'm going to switch it up and put these on. Yes. Beautiful. Okay, now I have to set up my laptop. What time is it? It's 12.25. just make sure my phone is at do not disturb because I don't want it to be 
ringing and stuff I put my computer on this little box here just because if I put it on the if I put my computer like flat on the table it's gonna look weird guys look how cute this background is I was trying to show it to you guys on my phone and that day for some reason it wasn't showing up I have it on my phone as well and I'm so obsessed I almost want to put it on all of my devices but for this iPad I have like a leafy one very very simple for this iPad I have like another one let me see what do I have oh it's, yeah it's also like leafy one as well very cute I might just change it to one of these because I'm obsessed with this background I don't know why but I just love it so much but I kind of wanted them all to be different but anyways so I'm now oh my god I didn't lay my edges <gasps> I didn't lay my edges that was probably the fastest I've ever laid my edges before I was like wait there's something off here my edges weren't laid this vlog is already really long that's just because I really wanted to catch you guys up on what I've been doing these past few weeks I didn't really vlog much of course given the situation is just I just didn't vlog but I did just do a little compilation of what I've been up to what I've been doing I have a lot of exciting content coming up for you guys very soon okay hold on I want to make sure that we're good here okay so I just finished my call for the day it was a long call it was like an hour and a half no it was like an hour it was like an hour long call it went great I was literally sweating I have to do laundry so bad so I only have like this sweater kind of thing it's not really thick but I had to turn off the AC because then obviously like you would hear it that's why I have it on in the background right now by the way but I was sweating I was like oh my god I'm like sweating I was literally sweating so as soon as I finished the call I like ran to the AC and I turned it on because I was like really really hot okay so I'm about to end the vlog really really quickly because I want to start a new vlog because remember I was telling you guys about a pink dress that I wanted well I ended up ordering it that day and it's coming in today it hasn't come in yet but it's gonna be coming in today so I'm gonna start a new vlog so I can like build it with you guys it's pretty big so I have to wait for my husband to get home from work so he can like help me with it but I want to build it with you guys I want to also buy decorations for it I don't think I'm gonna be able to I don't know oh my god I couldn't even talk I don't think I'm going to be wait is it coming today I actually think it's coming tomorrow oh my god I don't think it's coming today hold on I don't know but I think it's coming in today or tomorrow oh wait another thing before I open the mail let me just go over here I also forgot to mention before I go show you guys what I got I also forgot to mention that I heard you guys and I ended up getting the lens for this camera I had the 24 millimeter from Sigma that you guys kept saying made background noise and then I changed it to uh, manual mode but that was just tedious and it was annoying and some of the clips were blurry and you guys noticed it and I noticed this so I was like whatever I'm just not gonna stay with the lens I ended up returning it and I, I have the 16 millimeter now from Sigma as well 1.4 aperture so it still gives me really good quality you guys also get to see more background of where I'm at so I did that upgrade for you guys so that when I'm holding an object you guys don't hear the focusing sound see it's like completely silent so I thought that was really cool so vlogs are now not gonna be annoying in case you, that like bothered you but yeah I wanted to share that with you guys because now the vlogs are more seamless and you don't hear that little adjusting sound I want to show you guys something really really cool do you guys remember that I was telling you guys that I've been on a hunt for chairs from my editing room which I honestly have not really been using this room that much to edit I just really been liking my other setup more like when I have like guests over and my husband like needs to do computer work like he's been coming here to do work and my mom currently doesn't have a computer so she's also been coming here to do some work but I haven't really been using the room that much because I just like the other one I don't know anyways but long story short I've been on the hunt for some chairs and I finally found some chairs they are gorgeous they're from overstock that's actually the same place where I got my desk from I think I need to get a new chair though for upstairs because now I'm gonna have another desk so I need chairs for that and I'm gonna show you guys look at the chairs guys look how pretty so I have this chair here it is gorgeous I wouldn't say it's like the most comfortable chair ever but they are so so pretty and I love it so much and they definitely match the vibe of the room okay what I wanted to show you guys is this super exciting packaging from pattern 
guys they launched like a bunch of new products and they went in with how many products they launched okay let's quickly go over them because I might be using them today and I might just make like a dedicated video let me just quickly show you guys what products I have in here because I know this vlog is already pretty long but I'm definitely doing a video on these products because hello it's pattern like they're actually pretty good and I actually really like them so here is the little card that came in with the packaging super cute so let's just go over the products really quickly we have a pattern curl gel and it comes in a really big size container which is definitely something I like about this because you guys know I'm always buying either liter sizes or just like a bigger size product packaging so it comes in a big tube it also comes with the edge control which I typically use edge control when I'm doing braids and then we have a styling cream and then we also have a stronghold gel which hopefully it's going to be good because stronghold gels is the perfect time now for the summertime to use just so that your hair doesn't get frizzy and poofy it'll like extend your wash and go and then last but not least we have the hydrating mist which is kind of going to be for like a refresher i just love the packaging i think it's adorable it's really really nice i want to keep everything in the box so that when i'm filming a video i can just pull it out from here but she also has um hairpins and they come in a little cute container as well that says pattern and then we also got some really exciting new tools so this one right here is an edge control brush and you guys know I'm always laying my edges so this one I'm excited to try out we also got a hair pick for when your hair is fully styled you can just pick it out and then a wide tooth comb as well super nice I'm just excited to try this out so if you guys want to see a video on these products definitely let me know in the comments down below because I will love to review them for you guys so that concludes this really long vlog I know my filming schedule has been off a little bit lately but I am hoping to get back on schedule very very soon I'm excited to get back on schedule I want to start posting regularly like I did the goal was to be posting three times a week Monday Wednesday Friday so today's Wednesday I'm gonna just finish editing up this video and post it for you guys today and then Friday I think I have like another vlog or I think I have I don't remember what video but I already have it set out I just have to like take the time to edit it then we'll be back to our regular schedule programming with a mass Monday next week so stay tuned for that and I hope you guys enjoy it I hope you guys like vlogs I really enjoy vlogging it's so much fun I get to bring you guys along with what I do throughout the day my little Milo of course can't forget about him <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye